Hey guys, it's Dr. Splash, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to make a shadow clone in Unreal Engine. Alright, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on third person character blueprint, duplicate it, and rename it to Shadow Clone. Next, we'll go to third person character blueprint, double click. We'll go to viewport, add component, and type in scene. Now we're going to rename the scene as Shadow Clone 1. And after that, we're going to move it above the character. This is going to be where the Shadow Clone spawns. After that, we'll duplicate it. And we'll move Shadow Clone 2 to the other side. Then we'll click, click the keyboard, hit enter, go to the right hand corner, look at input key, and select the button we want to use as the shadow spawn button. After that we'll click and look for spawn actor and we'll look for a shadow clone. Next we'll get Shadow Clone 1 and search Get World Transform and then we'll connect it to Spawn Transform. After that we'll do the same for Shadow Clone 2. Once we're done with that, we'll connect Shadow Clone 1 Spawn Actor to Shadow Clone 2 Spawn Actor. Compile. After that, open up Shadow Clone Blueprint. Search for Event Begin Play. After that, we'll create a custom event titled Destroy Shadow. Next, we'll search for Destroy Shadow. Make sure target is Shadow Clone. After that, we'll click and type in AI Move 2, connect it. And then go to the pawn and reference self. Next, we'll add a delay. Change it to one second. And then we'll connect it back to the AI move. Next, we'll go to destination and search for get random point and navigatable radius. Change the radius to a thousand. And then we'll search for get active location and connect it to the origin. After that, we'll go to destroy shadow. Add a delay. And then we're going to connect destroy actor to that delay. And the target will reference itself. Then we'll adjust the delay to three seconds. So what's going on here is once the shadow clone has been spawned, after three seconds it'll destroy itself. And hit compile. Next, we'll make sure the Shadow Clone is selected, and we'll go over to Auto Possess AI and select Placed in World or Spawned. 
hit compile. Now that we've done that, let's add a nav mesh balance volume. Resize it. And if you press P, you'll be able to see where the AI can actually move. Green means the AI can move on it, and red means it can't. All right, let's hit play. And as you can see, whenever you press Q, the shadow clones appear. And after three seconds, they disappear. So now if you want to add some cool effects, you'll go back to Shadow Clone Blueprint, go to Destroy Actor, click, type in Spawn Emitter at Location. And then for the emitter template, just search for whatever template you want to add. After you've done that, go to location and search get actor location. Hey guys, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.